Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. All right, we hit 80 degrees in Corpus Christi today. A lot warmer this week, and this warmer weather pattern does look like it's going to continue into next week as we start March. So fortunately, there are no freezes in the forecast. What we are seeing, though, and this is typical when we get the cool water off the coast, is our sea fog. Uh, the, surf, the surface waters along the coastline are only in the 50s. That water really cooled down with that Arctic air last week. With the water temperature at 53 at Port Aransas to 58 at the Packery Channel. And when the winds above the water shift around to the southeast and bring in that warmer air, it overrides the cool water and it causes that for fog to form. Those tiny droplets form in where those two air masses are colliding. So unfortunately, that does develop that thick fog, that cloud at the ground, if you will, that comes inland at night as the air cools down, but then it goes right back out as we warm up during the day. That's our sea fog, and we're going to be dealing with that here for several days. As long as the wind isn't too strong, we'll see some of that being dense as well. Well, we saw it this morning, not only in Corpus Christi, but all the way into our inland areas. You can see this is the sea fog this morning in Beeville as it was very thick. We had dense fog this morning. It quickly cleared out, though, to a beautiful afternoon, and the temperatures have warmed up. In fact, we're sitting uh, near 80 degrees right now. Uh, it, it was 80 in Corpus Christi, and now we are at 75 degrees. It's windy, though. We've got a 21-mile-an-hour wind. Rockport at 72 right now, and Kingsville, a beautiful afternoon, 77 degrees with that 17-mile-an-hour breeze. So fog tracker is what you're looking at here, showing the visibility. Uh, and notice that drops right back down late this evening and overnight. Night. Could see some dense fog around tonight through early tomorrow morning. So you may need to slow down again in the morning tomorrow. You may need to use those low beam headlights as that fog will be thick early on. Uh, and then we'll see that clearing out in the afternoon. It's going to start warm tomorrow, near 60 degrees for lows. And then we make it into the upper 70s to near 80. Another fairly warm but breezy day. And We'll have more clouds around for tomorrow. High temperatures anywhere from 79 Corpus Christi to 83 Orange Grove, 82 Mathis. A warm day tomorrow across the coastal bend. Right along the water, though, with that cool water, temperatures will stay in the 70s. If you have allergies, you know it's going to be pretty windy, and this dry weather does push those pollens around. Uh, we see uh, high amounts of tree pollens in the air, particularly oak, juniper, and ash right now. And although they come down slightly Friday, they go right back up this weekend. So prepare for those allergies possibly to continue to act up this week with this drier pattern. Right now, we have our onshore flow, those winds coming in from the water as surface high pressure is pulled off to the east, that clockwise flow around that giving us that onshore flow. Our next boundary is right here. This is what we call a cold front and behind it slightly cooler air and a wind shift will come in but not until Thursday night and it's very weak. So with that we are going to see more cloud cover with the onshore flow out ahead of it tomorrow and then perhaps perhaps a spot shower or two and that wouldn't be uh, may possibly Thursday morning, but mainly Thursday night into Friday morning. I wouldn't expect much rain with that at all. This is a very weak front, so we'll see more clouds, but as far as rainfall, it's looking disappointing in the next seven days. Our rainfall potential is only up to a tenth of an inch in the next seven days. We have a windy, fairly warm weekend ahead as temperatures make it into the mid to upper 70s. Nights stay mild and partly sunny skies this weekend with a lot of wind. As we head into next week, you can see this weather pattern continues as daytime highs will reach into the 70s with low 60s at night.